Today's video is brought to you by Card Kingdom. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Fish 5 This week we're playing my personal favorite, of course, Esper Control. Uh, this video was supposed to come out a little bit earlier, but then I think there were some recording issues, so I went and refilmed it, re-released it, and we're gonna see what the, like, and we were gonna see how this deck does on the ladder, but uh, overall the deck got a ton of new tools thanks to, you know, like, like, Vow and, and of course the Innistrad block. But the biggest things are like Path of Peril. Uh, this one came from Crimson Vow, where you have Cleave, which destroys all creatures with mana value two or less. But if you pay six, uh, four white and a black, it removes the mana value two or less. So right now, with how aggressive all the decks are running around, being able to just blow up everything two CMC or less is huge. Of course, then you already know from Midnight Hunt, Meat Hook Massacre, just a powerful, powerful spell, uh, a, a good enchantment that scales late in the game and gives us life and all of that so uh we also have cemetery protector which is coming out of the sideboard as a way to kind of speed up our clock uh also a little bit of a graveyard hate uh there but not really we're not really trying to hate out our opponent's yard with it we're really just trying to exile our own instant spells and then go wide and then of course we have Hallbreaker horror which is just as you know by now uh it's just the control finisher so we're gonna see how we do on the ladder with the deck Do you need some new Innistrad Crimson Vow cards? Well, you can get them all from our sponsor, Card Kingdom, by heading over to cardkingdom.com slash mtgoldfishing. Even get a free mtgoldfish sticker. Just let them know you want one in your order notes, and they will hook you up. Uh, I probably need a little bit more than one land. This is, I guess, lands. Sure, why not? I'll push that back. We'll see what happens here. All right, so I just wanted to keep my two sweepers. Mostly just because who knows, right? All right, so we want to play Pathway on the black mana side. Okay. I guess we probably want to go with this. Tuck that away. This way we can actually cast that next turn because it looks like they're going to flip the concealing curtains and then throw away something from my hand. That's what I assume at least. All right. So this way I get to maybe draw a card or I mean, I get to draw a second white source. I mean, they definitely don't want me to flip. Uh, they don't want me to draw, get to cast Path of Peril, but I am two mana away from that. Oh, cool. Wait, hold on. I draw a card for that? Hold on. I thought they drew a card. Oh, that player then draws a card. Okay, that's cool. Masterful. Oh, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and play the swamp here. Because I essentially need to make sure that I don't. Well, I was gonna say, I was gonna essentially make sure I, I need to be able to cast my syncopate, or not my syncopate, the next spell that I'm trying to use, which is Memory Deluge. So, there we go. We take two. Hopefully, they don't play, like, I don't know, some Planeswalker or something like that. Elite Spellbinder, not the end of the world. Not great exactly either. I do need to draw another land, though. Let's white at least. Okay, sure. Deluge gone. Oh, look, there it is. I mean, yeah, I, I gotta blow this up or else they, they just keep clocking me. Right, and right now I'm already at a pretty low health total. Now, I do want to actually play the black mana side of this. Oh, boy, that's gonna be painful. And there... Oh, actually, nope. Memory Deluge is not in the graveyard. Okay. Okay. That's kind of bad for me. Sure. So let me make sure I get this right. I have to discard a card, right? Yes. Okay. I have a strong feeling they probably have removal, right? So if I go for their deck, maybe I can hit something that I can play. Okay, that's that's bad news, Bears. Oh, right, right, night and day. That whole thing's happening right now. Discard. Sure, get rid of that. I don't have anything to get back. They exile whatever they want to exile. That's fine. I do have to actually keep track of this, though. That's six. I die next turn unless I draw a removal spell or something like that right now off the top of their library. Unlikely. So, yeah, I've got to just one for one them across the board here and then hope that I draw something to just kill the Hive of the Eye Tyrant. Like a Field of Ruin would be amazing uh, because otherwise I am going to die. It has to be Field of Ruin, actually. 
Or I, I, I guess vanishing burst, but I feel like that. Oh, nope, that's not gonna do it. Okay, good game. Unfortunate, unfortunate. So, okay, so we know they're just black white again, right? They're black white aggro of some sort. Uh, we probably want this, this. That's gonna be amazing, and that should be good enough. Let's go ahead and ditch. Cards that aren't gonna be great are probably the ones that are gonna rot in my hand. Counter spells just don't feel that good. I don't think I need a, another hole breaker for this. Uh, Test of Talents doesn't have much application for me. All these sweepers are nice. I essentially wanna get as much going early to make it so that all their like hand disruption and stuff like that is useless. All right, I'll keep. This seems promising. We might get some of this stuff discarded from our hands, but I think I'll be okay with that. So let's just go ahead and play Shipwreck Marsh into Hall of Storm Giants. We have the Field of Ruin now. Uh, we're going to go ahead and tuck away. Saw it coming this way. That can't get discarded in any way, shape, or form. Sure, Luminarch Aspirant. That's pretty good. Yeah, I might just play that to get the second white source. Right now, I have no need to actually worry about this card here. Uh, it's just a 3-3. If they don't do anything, that's that's fine. We'll just kill it at the end of their turn or something. Uh, I probably have to counter this. Realistically, I did, I, I mean, I, I would rather not have to counter that, but I, I think I do have to. Just for the sake of, like, not just, like, straight up losing to some nonsense from them. Yeah, probably gonna take another four. Yeah, that, that, that should be fine. I have a sweeper. Ideally, I have a sweeper. If not, I'm gonna... If they play another Spellbinder, I'll just have to go ahead and cast Soul Shatter. Alright, so they pit, they discard a card or reel a card from their hand. That player discards that card. Okay, so their choice right now. Sure, now they can go and do whatever. They take my Teferi, probably? I mean, I, I'm just... My deck's pretty redundant here. I have nothing but removal. Yep, there you go. Got it. Um... Play second black source, because we're that's gonna be useful. Sure. I'll just get rid of uh the massive Luminarch Aspirant. Allow me to still have cheap, efficient ways of oh, that sucks. Well, alright, here you go. Sure, buddy. So you're a discard deck. I think I figured that out. They probably have another copy, let's be honest. Spellbinder. Yeah, that's fine. Yup, seems good. I don't think I'm all that worried about a majority of the stuff they're doing, so I'm just gonna... Just go ahead and kill this now. I'm not worried yet, at least. We'll find out in a few turns. If that changes. Alright, I drew a counter spell. That's pretty good here. I just need to start clocking my opponent enough times. Yeah, we'll just counter that. Alright, so they're black-white full-on just shenanigans over there. All right. Clock them for seven. They play a Planeswalker, we make them sack it. Sure. Seems good. So they probably have the five mana vampire, right? How much removal do they have? I guess we'll find out. I'm gonna just start swinging. They have something. That's fine. Look, I got I got to put some kind of pressure on them. So if I just sit around and do nothing, that we're, we're gonna lose anyways. So, sure, you got that. Pop off. I'm just gonna go ahead and kill the vampire, not sacrifice a card for it. Sure, they could choose between one of their uh, my removal spells, probably Infernal Grasp, right? Because that can actually kill Edgar. Then I guess killing Edgar is that big a deal. So, let's just activate. What do I what do I have here? Whenever an opponent attacks one or more planes, or you control. Okay, that that's fine then. I guess go ahead. Uh, yeah. I probably should have just played this because if I'm being honest with you, I think I'd rather have the second blue source. Yeah, they'll get to draw a card. That's unfortunate. I really don't like that. But what else am I gonna do? I think I am gonna take the three to the face here. Yeah, go ahead. Sure. Let me make sure I read this right. So when it target opponent reveals in hand, you may choose only if you what does this become a three four, but it doesn't hit me this turn, so sure. No way, they had it. Oh, they're so good. They're just too good. 
I, I, I can't beat that. All right, so let's see. What do we have from your opponent here? Naturally, I would draw all lands. Okay, okay, strong, strong. They have nothing. I need to find a sweeper or I'm dead. Simple as that. Sweep city or we die. That is a menace, so that all automatically connects. I did not draw an answer, but I think I could survive here. Depending on how they go about this. So now I can potentially kill, or I exile Revealing Eye. I can't be blocked by creatures of that color. Right, all right, sure. So I'm at one? Yeah, you got it. So next turn I'm dead because they probably have another creature, right? Or something to do. I drew a land. Classic, classic. Very good, very strong. Good game. Oh, uh, all lands, whatever. At this point, I at least have all my colors, so that's kind of good. All right, so we go blue here. We'll have the white, we'll have the black. Okay, we have all the colors we need. Green, black, so I'm... All right, well, that's good. I guess let's just hold up mana, because we, we are gonna- we could draw a disruption something of theirs, which is pretty major. That. And then, let's see, I hate ramp, so let's not let you do it. Let's go ahead and play second blue source to keep you stumbling. Perfect, so now if they try to use that nonsense thing over there, I guess I'm okay with it. Let's go ahead and tuck away the saw it coming so I don't get got by any discard spells. It looks like there's some kind of reanimator deck because they're using Mulch, Wither, Bloom, Command, uh, and they have Tox Roll in the yard. Okay, let me make sure I read this right. It's fine, yeah. All right, now we pass. Okay. Guess they can get like another Tox Roll? Eh, that's not too bad. Sure, that's fine. Let's go ahead and just blow one of these up, just to save mana for the next uh, turn that's coming up. Get an island, that seems good. Oh, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, so I'll let them just hit with the Nighthawk Scavenger or whatever that is. Oh, that we don't like just because it's Nyssa. I will always counter a Nyssa just because I hate her. Sure. Let's go ahead and blow up that Hive of the Eye Tyrant on top of that. No, thank you. Only a creature, right? Uh, let's get another blue source. All right, so we let them resolve that spell. All right, well, let's see. Do they have removal? They looks like they do. I'm, I mean, I have to see if they have it. They haven't shown me anything that, like, is a removal spell. Okay, cool. That they, they have that shown me that's something that's a removal spell, but all at sorcery speed. So that's why I'm like, okay, with all of this happening right now, sure. Take three. And let's go ahead and return that back. All right, so they're gonna have to exile because binding the old gods won't kill my whole break horror. Sweet. Infernal grasps. Yeah, you got it. Dead. All you opponent. All you. Wow. Really wanted that one, but okay. No, we just won't attack. We pass. They can feel the ruin here. That's pretty good. I didn't draw anything to like play with any with my uh my big crab boy. Let's just get rid of all of those. There's as many of those as I can. So that's three, six, seven. They can play this. So enters the battlefield. You may put a land card from the hand on the battlefield. You draw. Okay. They have a tox rule. Tox rule is obviously pretty good. Let me see if I can find something here. I feel like I need to have. All right, so I'm down to a 2-2 here. That's fine. They get a 1-1 out of this, I believe, which draws them a card or something like that. 
All right, let's go and just blow up the hive of the, the or layer of the Hydra. Get that out of the way. I hate that card. I hate creature lands. I'm going to remove them all, especially the ones that make green mana, of course. I've got to be running low. I mean, they're actually just green blacks, so they probably aren't running low at all. They don't have blue mana, so they can't sack a slug. Now we pass. See what they do. Yeah, that's fine. Sure. So they draw a card if they have another land, right? Okay, so they repeat this process until they run out of lands. Yep. Yep. Oh, uh, I want that. All right, so I have exactly enough to go Siphon Insight and Consider. Uh, no, I want that. That seems good. I can blow up their creature. Yeah, that's fine. Sure, go ahead. And they're gonna go get a learn spell. What is it? The, yep, mascot thing. Sure, that's three, six, seven. They have enough to play it. I have the sweeper. Uh, sure. Here you go. Draw those lands, baby. Yeah, I'll just let them uh, go ahead and take their turn here. I guess I could take that. That's not too bad either. Sure. Yep. There goes my second hall break horror, I think. That should be okay. We have one left. And we also have their thing. Yep, pop off. I mean, eventually I will just find something from their deck if they don't do it soon enough. Okay, so they get a land back, right? Yeah, that's pretty good. They are running out of cards. Eh, that's fine. Sure, go for it. Like, what I gotta counter is the reanimation spell. I don't think I'm countering the Cultivator Colossus or whatever that is. They have three mana, so I guess I, they can, like, I don't know, blow up one of my non-basics to show me what's up. They can check to see if I have more basics, which I think I do. I have, like, one more. I'm pretty sure I have one more. Yep, I do. Perfect. Now we pass. I just gotta counter. Uh, this unfortunately means I have to double counter their, uh, their reanimation spell, though. Yeah, this thing. Diagraph Rebirth. So it costs, like, 12 minutes to do everything, which they have. I guess I'll counter the that one that spell. Sure. Make them spend all their mana again. Let's see, what can I draw? Oh, oh, yeah, decline. I'll take that. I'll take that. Okay. So essentially, I have to pass and full counter, like, just tap out, right? So that's three, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, that's a problem. Oh, that's a problem. This is fine. I don't have any land, so they know I have two spells, but this way, if they, like, remove one of my threats, I have something to do the following turn. All right, and we got there. Look at that, using their creatures. You know, you'll love to see that. Using their creatures. Golly, that's just a good time. All right, so I want every bit of removal that I've got. Every bit of it. Shadow's Verdict doesn't have many applications outside of, like, blowing up the Vampire Nighthawk thing. So, pass on those. Path of Peril, useful, because it's able to blow up a big creature. So, I'm on board with that. I mean, a single Test of Talents is quite nice, because it's able to just get rid of uh, the reanimation spell. But I, I don't know if that's, like, all that amazing. So, I'll, I'll just go ahead and get rid of it. Cemetery Protector is nice, because it's able to target the reanimation target here. So, I do like that. Doomscar can't be gotten with a, with a discard spell. Not immediately, so... All right, we'll go ahead and just pass. That's a hand. I'll run it. I'll run it. We have the ability to go ahead and do some big plays here. So I'm going to go ahead and just tuck away, get the second white source down in case I need a sweeper. Maybe it's better to get the second blue. I'm not really sure. All I know is I'm going to suspend this or foretell it. Sure. And that's good for them. I took two. All right, so I don't need to worry about that anymore. I'm gonna go ahead and 
for Telbat away. Uh, the saw it coming, that is. Nighthawk, yeah, that's expected. None of those are the creature land, right? Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, go ahead. Not tapping out yet. We're nowhere near ready to tap out. Take the one. Feels good. Thank you, may I have another? That's what we want to kill. Funny enough, I don't have to do anything yet, so just pass. Eh, uh, sure, you got it. All right, let's just get our lands. Field of Ruin, perfect. I kind of absolutely love this hand. Holy crap. I'll pass. With double go blank, I don't see how we lose. There, there are many ways, I guess, but like right now it just seems kind of hard. Oh, their own go blank? Does that matter? I probably should. Yeah, I'll just counter that, right? Yeah, I'll counter that. Why not? You got it. So I want another black source. No, I have I have that. So I want a white source, right? Blue source. Now let's get a blue source. That seems fine. Let's play this game of back and forth here. All right, we got rid of all that nonsense from the opponent. So now they can do it back to me, which I will then discard go blank in the land, holding Cemetery Protector and Baleful Mastery. Sure, seems good. Completely fine. I'll go ahead and actually just pass here. I have another turn before I have to do anything. I, I think I could have actually suspended this, but that's the only probably thing I would have done differently. Fine, yeah. All right, so I think this game's about locked up because I'm gonna pretty much dunk him into the sun here. Yeah, that's fine. So we blow up this land to ensure that they can't get it back. Cool. And no matter what, we know that we can just, what, like counter a resurrection spell if we even need to? Sure. Take another two. Oh, right, they get that a land that's a creature land. That's kind of annoying. Okay, that's kind of good. Maybe I should have countered that. So they can make that into a three, five, right? That puts me down to two. I would die to a Witherbloom command, but I guess I can counter a Witherbloom command pretty hard. No attack will suspend pass. Yeah, that seems fine. Let's see, how does this work for- Ooh, that's not bad. Ooh, that's amazing. Alright, whole new line now. I'm just gonna block with the token. Sure. Take my turn. Solid. Now let's go ahead and just beat face. Uh, put all four cards. That could be problematic. Sure, it's fine. They have double. That That's okay. That's not too bad. Because, like, I might be able to get lucky here and just block the Hive of the Hydra or whatever. All right, so now we move to blocks. Goodbye, land. I don't have to worry about actually using any of my, uh, my Field of Ruin here. I can just save that for the Hive. Uh, now we pass. Wait for them to animate. Maybe they have like that, yeah, snake skin veil or whatever. That's fine. Let's go and do this. Blows up the land. This now allows me to go ahead and play the cemetery protector to eat whatever they try to target with the reanimation spell. Oh, uh, yeah, you got it. Let's get in there. And now we double block with the token and the hull breaker. Great. Yeah, let him go in. Let him go in. Welcome to uh, Sad Town USA population opponent. Sure.
All right, and we, 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 yeah, that, that was absolutely a bodying of a lifetime. All right, GG. Let's keep, seems good. Well, you know what, we'll go ahead and play uh, Deserted Beach now that we've seen the island here. We probably have enough time uh, to really just relax and figure out what we're gonna do next. Uh, do they have any flash creatures? Doesn't matter. I, I don't think they do. It looks like just like a mono, like blue. Oh, it, it's a tempo deck. That's for sure. Let's go ahead and exploit the, that or not. Up to you. All right. Seems solid. In their mind, that's the last, like they know, they might think this is a counter spell, so that's fine. Uh, if I don't reveal the second white source, that might make it a little more uh, interesting. Oh, nope. They know. They know. They have to know now. All right, so what we're looking at here is they're probably holding up a bunch of overcharged amalgams. Yeah, we'll take one, sure. We do need another, like, mana source. We want to get up to seven pretty smoothly here. Land, that card's pretty good, so I'm told. Copy. I'll just pass. Because I think I can just counter what they play next. Non-token zombie, I mean, I think I have to counter this. It doesn't feel like it really matters, but I probably should counter it. There you go, buddy. You can have that. So the thing I have to make sure of is that I have an answer for this Hive of the Eye Tyrant. That's probably the most important thing. I'm okay with taking a little bit of damage for the time being. Uh, probably looking at an overcharged amalgam at some point here. So the only thing I can do is legitimately just pass. Let me think here. How do I feel about that? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. So even if they try to do the overcharged amalgam thing, it doesn't matter here. They have to remove my Hullbreaker Horror, which means they're tapped down. All right, Infernal Grasp, they're tapped down. Sure, so I'm at six, but I do get to save some mana here. So that looks good. Oh no, I realize that's all my white mana though. That's a little awkward. I mean, I'm hoping they don't animate the hive. That gives me a turn, but if I'm them, I'm probably animating it. Then again, unless they really need the mana, which I guess could change some things up here. Oh, that's perfection. So I have to make sure they don't have any zombies here. So I'm gonna blow this up now, because as soon as they have a creature, they can play Overcharged Amalgam. Well, I guess Overcharged Amalgam can still happen, but whatever. Thankfully, we have another Hole Breaker Horror. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, right? Three, six, nine, yep. Will we get to block? This is fine. So now we want them to start doing stuff on there. I mean, I don't know if I'm going to one. That's pretty daring. I don't know if I'm living that dangerously yet. I mean, they have something. Sure. You got it. What else do they have in hand right now? That's A-OK, -okay. you got that, go ahead. So every, on their upkeep, they're gonna lose one. That's perfect. I mean, they, they're not gonna attack with the Graph Reaver because they know I have something ready for it. Ooh, Agadim's Awakening. Now that's a whole different story. I mean, that's pretty good. Okay. Pass, let them take some damage. Get rid of the Death Toucher. All right, and that looks like that's game. Yeah, because I mean, getting rid of the Death Toucher now means that they can't just attack through freely. We don't like that part. We do love the Meatball Massacre, and we do love exiling stuff from their graveyard. Oh, along with Go Blank and Soul Shatter. These are all pretty good. They're going to be relying on more, I guess, maybe a few more like creature based counter spells. So cards like uh, Test of Talents probably won't do anything. Negate won't do anything. But Go Blank has its applications for sure. Cemetery Protector definitely has its applications. Stinkopate, not the worst thing, but are we beating them in a counter war? Probably not. 
Oh, ho, 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 ho. That's, uh, you know what? I'll, I'll run it. I'll run it. That's pretty, uh, pretty risky, but you know what? We're gaming. It's fine. It's fine. We'll be fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, the scab, that's pretty good. So we tuck away, we saw it coming. For now. Now we're looking pretty closely here at the chance of them doing some weird shenanigans. Maybe they'll sack the scab. Oh, they didn't? Unlucky. They know too much. Okay. Sure. We're definitely blowing up the land. Like, we're taking, like, a lot here, though. We are taking, like, eight or something like that. They, once again, have exactly enough mana to wreck us, though. We don't have anything that saves us. There's no one draw. I guess if I remove that, that's three, five. I'm at one. Okay, so... Oh, I can't remove the scab, actually. That's awkward. Yeah, no, I can't remove the scab. It's multicolored. And since Graph Reaver's here, that's pretty awkward. Yeah, no, that that's good enough. They didn't even need the other land. That's brutal. I have nothing to do about the scab, unfortunately. Now we're on the play. Eh, I still like what we had. Just unlucky on our draws. I'll keep that. That seems very reasonable for us to keep. So we go Sanctum. Then we go Clearwater Pathway, because we're already going to have pretty much all the, the black-white mana we need. So we're probably going to go with the blue here. Still gonna go with the blue. We have lower health. Yeah, go ahead, pop off. Oh, the revelry. Okay, well, they're taking the Meat Hook Massacre. That's that's the first thing they're taking here. I guess really no reason to... I mean, right now we're drawing every land in our deck, unfortunately. We've only drawn three spells this whole game. So we are going to need a little bit of help from our deck here to stop trolling us. Uh, sure, I have lands to discard. More blue or white here? I think I want to go blue. Drew another land. Okay, very funny. Deck's hilarious. Just pure comedy. Pure comedy. Yep. Yep, it's fine. We're not doing anything. We're going to wait until they animate the land. So they sack one? Sure. Pretty good. Draw some cards. Make a treasure. Oh, they don't need the treasure. Yeah, we're, we're gonna let that go. Necro duality. Again. I don't even know if that card's good. I feel like if they just had a discard spell, it'd be better. I mean, like, they might pop off now, but, like, if they just had a threat, I think I would have lost. It's a little bit off. It's Oh, okay, sure, you got that. Sure. They have two death touchers. I am going to blow up the hive now. And I drew another land. Okay, that is a little awkward because I have drawn three, five spells this whole game. That feels kind of bad. They have another one of these. Okay, sure. So they're, they're going off. They're going to just pretty much lock me out now, right? So I think we're dead here. Yeah, very funny deck. All right, that's GG. Yep, take all of it. Yep, good game. Okay, maybe I'll actually draw magic cards to use against my opponent this round. See how this one goes. Hopefully I give them a game. Or I can just roll over and die like I did last game. Oh, it's mono green. Oh, that's miserable. Please, I, I guess I have an answer to Ranger class immediately, so that, that's cool. Pass. I'll, I'll take I'll take three here. Sure, why not? I don't I don't know if I can disrupt them off the curve, but I'd like to.
I think I'm gonna let them resolve whatever it is they're trying to do this turn. Even if it is an Asika's Chariot. Cool. That's A-OK. -okay. Now that's a little bit in that's that's way different here. So I can just blow up the board, right? Like that that doesn't sound bad now. Before you go to combat, so I gotta blow up this one. Leaving up the black. Sure, get a second white source resolve. Now I can pick off that. They're gonna draw another card, unfortunately, but that's just the life it's gonna be. Take six here, they draw another card. Sure, they, they exile something that's pretty good here, but I'm hoping, just hoping here. I draw a land? Did not draw the land. I'm just not a gamer. Unfortunate. Okay, so we sweep the board. I am a little bit worried now about an Asika's Chariot, however. I can live with that. If I draw another, like, black source or some kind of land or something like that, that'd be good. I'm kind of in the market to just remove that. Let me think here. I might just take the damage from the Prowler. Get rid of the land, because the land is the bigger threat here. They get the mana reduction of the Prowler, which is problematic in, in its own ways, but... Why would they not? Oh, they have Snake Veil skin. All right, we get rid of everything from their library that is snake veil, snake skin, forehead, whatever. We do help them draw, which I don't like, but whatever. Yeah, I, I think I have to let them uh, resolve whatever they're gonna do. Maybe I should have just saw it coming here. All right, that's fine. Yeah, I need to get another black source. Go for it. All right, let's hope they don't have anything. Don't draw anything good. Don't draw anything good. Don't draw anything good. Like that. That That's not great. So perfect for us. Does this dude have death touch? Oh, he does. That's pretty good. Okay. Uh, does that do anything? No, it has trample and haste, right? Okay. I mean, I have the creature land, so there's no way you're attacking, right? Okay. Transform other creatures you control, get plus one plus one to trample. Okay, that's fine. Sweet. Counter that, return the Olvenwald thing. I think it's over. Yeah, that that's it feels good to beat green. It feels very good to beat green. Holy cow, I love beating green decks. Oh, doesn't happen often, so I gotta relish. I gotta really enjoy how often I can do it. Cause legitimately green pantses me every day of the week. Everything they do has trample. Is that even good to have? Oh boy, Sunset Revelry, I guess does gain me some life back, but otherwise, does it do anything? Teferi gains me life and that, I... Meatball Massacre, this allows me to block the wolf. Maybe some small ground troops, but not too much outside of that. Oh boy, this is not a great hand. <laughs> On the draw, I mean, I have uh, I have some interaction, sure. I have my Emiria's Call, right? I have my blue land, sure. All right, let's play this tap. We go and play the blue land. Oh, oh, oh no, wait, no, it doesn't matter. Th that's because Lair of the Hydra. Make him respect that I have something to do. At instant speed, potentially. Blue mana. Scary. Alright, I have to play the Field of Rune. Because I gotta blow up the creature land. And I gotta do it in response to the activation before they turn it into a creature. I gotta, I gotta blow up one of the lands. Because I gotta get the black mana, so... Unfortunate, but what I have to do. I'm gonna pass. I have triple memory deluge, so... I'm actually gonna take the hit here from the old growth troll. Uh, not even try to pressure in any other way, shape, or form. So, let's see, is it a Seeker's Chariot? That card's gonna be problematic, but they've gotta play it, right? Like, if they have a threat or something, they've gotta play it. Okay. 
but they're representing that they have snakeskin veil. Okay. Field of Ruin. Okay, so I want Soul Shatter. Field of Ruin is a free... Yeah, I think I'm going with that. Blow up the land, get rid of that. It's fine, go ahead, pass. I guess I take six here, or five, sorry. Math is hard for me. <laughs> All right, I have two poison counters. I, I don't know, maybe I lose to this somehow, but okay, that's pretty good. I mean, yeah. I've got to blow this up so I can get more mana, more black mana specifically. Unfortunately, that leaves them with one mana untapped to go and snake veil skin me, which feels kind of bad, but whatever. That's not bad. All right, I think we play it like this. So pass, they get a big body. We can still, this is reach, but not trample. So I can block the fin. Oh, that was like the perfect mill for us. So I'm gonna try to block. They might be able to protect this, right? With snake veil skin or whatever, but the thing here is I at least get a body. So here we go, send that here, send that there. I don't take any more damage. Actually, no, that's fine. Take five, I go up some. I think I just take five. Yeah, go up to four here. It's not great, but I get another body so I can block next turn, maybe. Oh, unless they do that, then never mind. I've been had. I've been duped. So I need to draw a sweeper. Simple as that. I did not. I did not. That feels really bad. So what's my out here? Make him sack that. That doesn't do anything. I still die. I guess my out is to make sure here. I think this this is the line. Right, I blow both of these up. And now I gotta go dig for a Path of Peril, which I did not draw, unfortunately. GG's. So I needed the Path of Peril there. I could have killed off the Finn, the token, leaving the 4-4. The four, four. Now, I'm a little bit shocked our opponent kept their um, nonsensical card in the, the, the Blizzard Brawl thing. I, I was really surprised to see that. But hey, it worked for them, right? So you got it, buddy. I'm 100% suspending uh, or tucking away the saw it coming. Then we play the island. This way I can counter whatever three drop. Finn's coming down, that's fine. Oh, that's good. Yeah, this allows me to just counter whatever they play next, right? I won't be able to get rid of Finn, but I can counter the next play, make it a little more awkward. That's still like a ton of swings from the opponent before this can kill me, so. Counter that. Hundred percent, just take the damage. I'm hoping that I can just, if they don't play anything, I can go ahead and just cast my meat hook or my uh, memory deluge. Sure. Oh, that's so bad. Okay. Oh, that's so bad. All right, got rid of that. Take another two. I mean, we might die to Finn. Sure. So two more attacks from Finn and I lose. All right, this isn't bad. I can at least block. That's a 4-4. Four, four. All right, we, we let him attack first. Let's do this. Let's see what I drop. No, uh, we want to get rid of one of these instant spells. Cast the instant spell, get another body. Action, mill that away. All right, that's not too bad. Unfortunately, Protector's gonna die because Finn has Death Touch, but I at least have a body to block the layer of the Hydra so I don't take a ton of damage here. And if they don't do anything, if they just animate the land, I'm okay with that. Then I think I kind of let this happen. Even better. Yeah, that, that's fine, sure. I just don't know why they keep that in, but whatever. All right, so we gain two life. They're nowhere near being able to like actually just kill my uh, Teferi. It's fine, sure. I'm not even sure I... Unfortunately, I think I do have to use the Sack Atlas. Actually, no, I don't. I just let this happen. Let's get rid of the land, sure. Kill it. I, I think we win from here. Of 
perfect. And now we get we got rid of the land, got rid of the Toski. We can just go ahead and look through our deck now, get all the lands now, of course, naturally. Um, let's get the second black source. Uh, that's fine. Yeah, sure, I'll just cast the creature, right? Why not? And now I pass. I have a body to block in case they play the 4-4 with haste. I get to emblem. Oh, this is great. That's perfect. And let's go ahead and untap. Sure, that one and the blue. Always, and we're gonna go ahead and pass. So now our instants and sorceries cost one. Great, that's fine. Oh, I actually should have, I, I messed up. Well, whatever, we won. Get out of here, green. Keep, have something to do. Oh my God. All right, let's hope that I don't draw every land this game. That'd be pretty nice. I wouldn't hate that whatsoever. Oh, that's the play set. You love to see that, okay. We have found every deserted beach there ever was. Cannot let you play that. Okay, this is much more tolerable now. Yeah, Ranger class. That's a miserable magic card. Take the action. Sure, okay. Uh, sure, that's fine. Oh, right, they're gonna draw a card. That's a wolf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Sure, just draw a card. Oh, man, that's so bad. Okay. Hello? Oh, my God, that's right. I, I tapped my mana because I had to do double white, so they're going to have the ability to be uh, doing all that. Okay, that's not good. Well, let's get another black source here, as always. I mean, at this point now, they've got so much mana that I, I am not going to uh, care about these treasures anymore. I think legitimately, I care more about this Vanishing Verse going at the Ranger class than the dragon. The dragon can just, uh, just attack anyways, right? Like, who cares? Sure, take five. Unfortunately, I have to just get rid of this Ranger class now. They're holding onto a grip full of cards, so that's not good for me. And I kind of just have to get rid of the dragon. Man, that feels real bad. They only have like everything else in their deck that's currently, like what else would they be holding if not? More ways to like blow stuff up. Oh, Snake fails again, okay. Okay, you get the treasure, okay. All right. Maybe they just didn't know that. I think they thought that gave it indestructible. I think that's what it was. At least that doesn't have haste yet. Well, this is gonna be miserable. Uh, that's not good at all. What does that do? Token, I, mean, I guess, sure. It's gonna be a little awkward. I mean, I, I, I got nothing, so your turn. I have a 3-3 in hopes that we'll block your 3-3. You have an abrade, no blocking required. So at least I don't take like a thousand damage this turn, maybe. Oh, that's so bad. Okay, yeah, thousand damage it is. Thousand damage it is. It forces knight, right? Yeah, okay. Common damage to a player. Yeah, I'm in trouble. Oh, come on, mother of. Oh, that's so bad. Okay. Sure. This is great. So we're dead? You know, we're actually just dead. Yeah, we're, we're dead. We're dead. Funny game, funny game, funny game. Okay. Wow. That was as miserable as magic could have made it. All right. Don't want that. We don't want that. I guess syncopate's not bad. Sure. Well, can I actually give them a game now? That was that was real close. That was real close. We had them on the ropes there. Had them on the ropes. Oddly enough, Hullbreak Horror is not the worst thing in our opener because we do need to put a clock on our opponent, right? So that card will be a clock at some point. We just gotta get to turn seven. Hopefully with Sunset Revelry and a few of the other things we've got, we might be able to push there and we're on the play. So that makes it 
a little bit better. Just a little bit better. Not by much, but a little bit. Right, what one drop you got? You got nothing for the one drop part. I like that. It is unlikely that I am able to kill the next thing because it's... Oh, never mind. That's perfect. Okay. How does this go? Usually pretty poorly. Get rid of the annoying card. So we have black, white, double blue. We have like two of every color here, so it's not the end of the world. It's not bad. Sure, seems pretty good. If they have another one of these cards, the Storm Seekers, that's bad. A braid doesn't hit to fairy, thankfully. You won't know when. Tap that down, why not? And let's untap that. So next turn, I can get Hullbreaker down. That's precisely what I like to see. Even if they abrade here, that doesn't matter. They do get to ramp a little bit. That's fine. I just can't let Teferi die. Flips it over, becomes Knight. Can't allow that. So I gotta kind of counter that. Sure. It comes back, which is a little problematic, but I can at least double block here. Like, if they have an abrade, I guess they have to use it. That's not the worst thing, sure. Leave my token, that's fine. Alright, so I have a, a pretty beefy body now. Sure, Ranger class, that's pretty good, so I'm told. Just a delightful magic card. If I attack, I untap. Yeah, okay. I think I still attack here. Sweet. Okay. Don't worry. All right, and that looks like that should be enough for the opponent. Thankfully. Oh my God, Hallbreaker Horror, you're such a beast. Oh my God, you saved our butt. And that's what we like there. We're gonna be on the draw this time, so this is gonna be a much more difficult fight, though. Ay -ay 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 -ay. Vanishing verse, verse is a bit awkward. It doesn't kill the little annoying Lord effect. This isn't bad. This is not bad at all. I like this. Okay, I'll run this. I'll run this. This tells me they have play with fire. It's a good magic card. I guess technically I could Baleful Mastery if I want to, but it, it, it's not going to matter. I'm not going to do that. Probably going to hold this for, yeah, the Outland, Outland Harbor dude thing. I got to get rid of this card now before they do Snake Veil Forehead Skin thing. Snake Foreskin Head? I don't know. One of those things. You know what I meant. There you go. That's a good magic card. One would say that's a an absolutely fine magic card. This is interesting, so I have to cast something, don't I? And now we pass. I got nothing better to do. This answers Ren and Seven and every prop. Oh, hold on. Let, let, let me let me set a stop here. Beginning of combat on your turn, target Wolf Rover gets plus two plus two until end of turn. Cast their second spell each turn. Okay. It's annoying. It's not the end. I'm okay with taking three here. I'm okay with taking three here. Call for now we pass back. The only concern is that I think they have that giant hexproof target. The thing that gets hexproof and then everything else has hexproof and then it flips over. It, it just makes it's pure misery. What does that do? Okay, okay, that's pretty good. I mean, they very much still have snake skin, right? Yep, that's fine. So I need to get rid of Reckless Storm Seeker. Don't and now we draw them another card. Pass. And they might have the Averbrook thing, so I have to dig for Soul Shatter. Ranger class, annoying, but not the end.
All right, now we pass. We have exactly what we're looking for. Hullbreaker, and they may not attack because they see the, uh, the creature land, which is good. They can snake skin, snake forehead skin thing. They, they, they got it, sure. Snake veil, forehead, foreskin. Five skin, let me just beat. So two fairies at one, comfortably. Play with fire, pretty good. Okay, not bad. This is but they've just spent their whole defeat. hand doing this, so I kind of like that. That part I don't like as much, but you know, what are you gonna do? So now we start swinging out. We race. All right, we pass. All right, and we got there. Taste it, Ranger. Well, overall, we went three and two. The deck was quite pretty. Like, you know, it, it did the control thing. Some games, we just drew every land we could, and that was just bad. Uh, but then the other games, we did what we wanted to do, which was control the game out. Uh, and it feels like control decks are just a few hairs, like just a little bit, a few like turning of the knobs and whatnot to being really, really good. Uh, but along with aggro being really good. So the meta is oddly wide open right now as we don't see, you know, like a lot of the aggro decks are beating up on the extra turns decks. And oddly enough, this deck doesn't do too bad against extra turns as we have Hullbreaker Horror. We've got Siphon Insight and lots of things to really just mess with them on top of that. So really just comes down to which half of our deck we draw. So if there's anything that we need to do, it's to find ways to smooth our draws out just a little bit more otherwise i think the deck is a blast so thanks so much for watching another episode of fish 50 feel free to leave a like a sub you know do the whole thing and make sure you follow me on instagram twitter at the asian avenger and twitch.tv slash asian avenger where i play all sorts of video games so thanks for watching and i'll see you at the next video peace thanks for watching the video if you enjoyed it help us out by clicking that like button down below and to keep up on all the latest and greatest click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos and if you want to check out some of our other sweet videos here and here